The monarchy of Thailand, whose monarch is referred to as the King of Thailand or historically as the King of Siam, Thai, Phrae Ma Kasatri Thi refers to the constitutional monarchy and monarch of the Kingdom of Thailand, formerly Siam. The King of Thailand is the head of state and head of the ruling royal house of Chakri. Although the current Chakri dynasty was created in 1782, the existence of the institution of monarchy in Thailand is traditionally considered to have its roots from the founding of the Sukhothai Kingdom in 1238, with a brief interregnum from the death of Ekathat to the accession of Taksin in the 18th century. The institution was transformed into a constitutional monarchy in 1932 after the bloodless Siamese Revolution of 1932. The monarchy's official ceremonial residence is the Grand Palace in Bangkok, while the private residence has been at the Dusit Palace. The King of Thailand's titles include Head of State, Head of the Royal Thai Armed Forces, Adherent of Buddhism and Upholder of Religions. History Origin. <inaudible> 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 The current concept of Thai kingship evolved through 800 years of absolute rule. The first king of a unified Thailand was the founder of the Kingdom of Sukhothai, King Sri Indraditya, in 1238. The idea of this early kingship is said to be based on two concepts derived from Hinduism and Theravada Buddhist beliefs. The first concept is based on the Vedic Hindu caste of Kshatriya. Thai, Kshatri or warrior ruler, in which the king derives his powers from military might. The second is based on the Theravada Buddhist concept of Dhammaraha, Thai, Thurm Racha Buddhism having been introduced to Thailand around the 6th century CE. The idea of the Dhammaraha or kingship under Dharma, is that the king should rule his people in accordance with Dharma and the teachings of the Buddha. These ideas were briefly replaced in 1279, when King Ramkumhang came to the throne. Ramkumhang departed from tradition and created instead a concept of paternal rule, Thai, Thex Karekseng Luk in which the king governs his people as a father would govern his children. This idea is reinforced in the title and name of the king, as he is still known today, Thukun Ramkumhang Thai, Furkan Ramkumhang meaning, Father Ruler Ramkumhang. This lasted briefly. By the end of the kingdom, the two old concepts returned as symbolized by the change in the style of the kings. Fu was changed to Faya or Lord. Topic: <inaudible> Kings of Ayutthaya. Topic: The Kingdom of Sukhothai was supplanted by the Kingdom of Ayutthaya, which was founded in 1351 by King Ramathabodi I during the Ayutthayan period. The idea of kingship changed. Due to ancient Khmer tradition in the region, the Hindu concept of kingship was applied to the status of the leader. Brahmins took charge in the royal coronation. The king was treated as a reincarnation of Hindu gods. Ayutthaya historical documents show the official titles of the kings in great variation, Indra, Shiva and Vishnu, or Rama. Seemingly, Rama was the most popular, as in, Ramathabodhi. However, Buddhist influence was also evident, as many times the king's title and unofficial name, Dhammaraha, an abbreviation of the Buddhist Dharmaraha. The two former concepts were re-established, with a third, older concept taking hold. This concept was called Divaraha, Thai, Thu Racha or Divine King, which was an idea borrowed by the Khmer Empire from the Hindu-Buddhist kingdoms of Java, especially the idea of a scholar class based on Hindu Brahmins. The concept centered on the idea that the king was an incarnation avatar of the god Vishnu and that he was a bodhisattva enlightened one, therefore basing his power on his religious power, his moral power, and his purity of blood. The king, portrayed by state interests as a semi-divine figure, then became—through a rigid cultural implementation—an object of worship and veneration to his people. From then on the monarchy was largely removed from the people and continued under a system of absolute rule. Living in palaces designed after Mount Meru, home of the gods, in Hinduism, the kings turned themselves into a chakravartin, where the king became an absolute and universal lord of his realm. Kings demanded that the universe be envisioned as revolving around them, and expressed their powers through elaborate rituals and ceremonies. For four centuries these kings ruled Ayutthaya, presiding over some of the greatest period of cultural, economic, and military growth in Thai history. 
Topic: <laughs> Sakdina and Rachasip. Topic: The kings of Ayutthaya created many institutions to support their rule. Whereas feudalism developed in the European Middle Ages, Ayutthayan king Trelakanat instituted Sakdina, a system of social hierarchy which ranked the king's subjects according to the amount of land they were entitled to, according to their rank and position. Rachasip is required by court etiquette as an honorific register consisting of a special vocabulary used exclusively for addressing the king, or for talking about royalty. Topic. Royal authority Topic. The king was chief administrator, chief legislator, and chief judge, with all laws, orders, verdict and punishments theoretically originating from his person. The king's sovereignty was reflected in the titles Lord of the Land and Lord of Life The king's powers and titles were seen by foreign observers as proof that the king was an absolute monarch in the European sense. However, in Siamese tradition the duty and responsibility of the king was seen as developed from the ancient Indian theories of royal authority, which resemble enlightened absolutism, although the emphasis is not on rationality but on Dhamma. This was disrupted in 1767, when Thai digests of the Dhammasat Thurmsaster were lost when a Burmese army under the Alangpaya dynasty invaded, sacked and burned the city of Ayutthaya. Topic. Kingdom restored. Topic. An interlude filled by civil war was ended when King Taksin restored the dominion under what has been called the Thonburi Kingdom. Topic. Chakri kings Topic. In 1782, King Buddha Yodfa Chulaloke ascended the throne and moved the capital from the Thonburi side to the Bangkok side of the Chow Freya River. There he established the House of Chakri, the current ruling dynasty of Thailand. This first reign was later designated as that of Rama I in the list of Rama kings of Thailand. He also established the office of Supreme Patriarch as the head of the Sangha, the order of Buddhist monks. During the Ratanakasan period the Chakri kings tried to continue the concepts of Ayutthayan kingship once again emphasizing the connection between the sovereign and his subjects. On the other hand, they continued to not relinquish any authority of the throne. Kings Buddha Lotla Nabhalai Rama II and Nanklao Rama III created a semblance of a modern administration by creating a supreme council and appointing chief officers to help with the running of the government. Mongkut Rama IV marked a significant break in tradition when he spent the first 27 years of his adult life as a Buddhist monk during which time he became proficient in the English language, before ascending the throne. As king, he continued the appointment of officers to his supreme council, the most notable being Somdet Chow Freya Priorawangs and Si Sariawangs, both of whom acted as chief ministers for King Mongkut and the latter as regent, from the king's death in 1868 until 1873. Chulalongkorn ascended the throne as a minor at age 15 in 1868, and as king of Siam on 16 November 1873. As a prince, he had been tutored in Western traditions by the governess, Anna Leonoans. Intent on reforming the monarchy along Western lines, during his minority he traveled extensively to observe Western administrative methods. He transformed the monarchy along Western lines of an enlightened ruler. He abolished the practice of prostration in front of the monarch, and repealed many laws concerning the relationship between the monarch and his people, while continuing many of the ancient aspects and rituals of the old kingship. In 1874, he created a privy council copied from the European tradition, to help him rule his kingdom. During his reign Siam was pressured to relinquish control of its old tributaries of Laos and northern Malaya to western powers, Siam itself narrowly avoided being colonized. In 1905, 37 years after his coronation, Chulalongkorn ended slavery with the Slave Abolition Act. In 1867 slaves accounted for one-third of the Siamese population. His son, Vahiravud Rama v, ascended to the throne in 1910 and continued his father's zeal for reform to bring the monarchy into the 20th century. The perceived slow pace of reform resulted in the palace revolt of 1912. 
In 1914, Vahiravud determined that the act providing for invoking martial law, first promulgated by his father in 1907, was not consistent with modern laws of war, nor convenient for the preservation of the security of the state, so it was amended to a more modern form that, with minor amendments, continued in force through subsequent changes in government. Prajadipoke Rama 7 succeeded his brother in 1925. The Eaton and Sandhurst educated monarch created a council similar to a cabinet, where the most important government officials could meet to decide state affairs. This advisory and legislative council, styled the Supreme Council of State of Siam, Thai, ex fee Rathmantri Sva was founded on 28 November 1925 and existed until 1932. <laughs> Constitutional monarchy Topic. In June 1932, a group of foreign educated students and military men called the Promoters carried out a bloodless revolution, seized power and demanded that King Prajadipoke grant the people of Siam a constitution. The king agreed and in December 1932 the people were granted a constitution, ending 150 years of absolute Chakri rule. From then on the role of the monarch was relegated to that of a symbolic head of state. His powers from then on were exercised by a prime minister and the National Assembly. In 1935 King Pradipoke abdicated the throne, following disagreements with the government. He lived in exile in the United Kingdom until his death in 1941. The king was replaced by his young nephew Ananda Mahadal Rama 8. The new king was ten years old and was living abroad in Switzerland. A council of regents was appointed in his place. During this period the roles and powers of the king were entirely usurped by the fascist government of Plaque Fabunsankram, who changed the name of the kingdom from Siam to Thailand, and aligned it on the side of the Axis powers in the Pacific theatre of World War II. By the end of the war Fabunsankram was removed and the young king returned. The Free Thai movement provided resistance to foreign occupation during the war and helped rehabilitate Thailand after the war. After Rama VIII S sudden death from a bullet wound in 1946, Prince Bhumibol Adulyade, Rama X, aged 19 years old, became the new monarch. In establishing his rule, the king was aided by the efforts of the U.S. government, who used the monarchy as a bulwark against communist gains in Southeast Asia. King Bhumibol was the world's longest reigning monarch at the time of his death in October 2016. He died on 13 October 2016 at the age of 88. The monarchy in the 21st century Since c. 2000, the role of the Thai monarchy has been increasingly challenged by scholars, media, observers and traditionalists, and as more educated pro-democracy interests began to express their speech. Many deem that a series of laws and measures relating to les majestés in Thailand are hindrances to freedom of expression. Dozens of arrests, hundreds of criminal investigations and multiple imprisonments have been made based on these laws. King Bhumibol Adulyade's speech in his 2005 national birthday broadcast could be interpreted that he welcomed criticism. The les majestés law is part of Thailand's criminal code and has been described as world s harshest les majesté law and possibly the strictest criminal defamation law anywhere Quote dot. political scientist giles unpicorn noted that the les majesté laws are not really designed to protect the institution of the monarchy in the past the laws have been used to protect governments and to shield military coups from lawful criticism this whole royal image is created to bolster a conservative elite well beyond the walls of the palace the king is assisted in his work and duties by the private secretary to the King of Thailand and the Privy Council of Thailand, in consultation with the head of the cabinet, the Prime Minister. In accordance with the constitution the king is no longer the originator of all laws in the kingdom, that prerogative is entrusted to the National Assembly of Thailand. All bills passed by the legislature, however, require his royal assent to become law. The monarchy's household and finances are managed by the Bureau of the Royal Household and the Crown Property Bureau respectively, these agencies are not considered part of the Thai government and all personnel are appointed by the King. The junta which took power in 2014 has been aggressive in jailing critics of the monarchy. 
In 2015, it spent $540 million, more than the budget of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, on a promotional campaign called Worship, Protect and Uphold the Monarchy. Quote, the campaign includes television commercials, seminars in schools and prisons, singing contests, and competitions to write stories and films praising the king. Quote, this is not propaganda. Prayat Chan O Cha, the leader of the junta, said. Quote, the youth must be educated on what the king has done. In its fiscal year 2016 budget, the ruling military government has increased its expenditure for upholding, protecting and preserving the monarchy to 18 billion baht $514 million, an increase of 28% for this budget line item since 2014 when it took power. Topic. Timeline of monarchs Topic. Topic. Royal regalia Topic. The present set of royal regalia of Thailand Kruying Raja Kakudaban, Thai, Karaksing Rach Kuthfanth and the royal utensils was created mostly during the reign of King Rama I and Rama IV, after the previous set was lost during the sack of Ayutthaya by the Burmese in 1767. The regalia is used mainly during the coronation ceremony of the king at the beginning of every reign. The regalia is presently on display in the Museum of the Grand Palace in Bangkok. Royal Nine-Tiered Umbrella Phra Maha Swetachatra, Phra Ma Sutchatra the most important regalia. Currently there are seven, distributed at various palaces. Great Crown of Victory Phra Maha Fijay Mongkut, Phra Ma Fijay Minkut official headgear. Sword of Victory Phra Sankarga J. Shri, Phra Sankirk Chesri found at Tonle Sap in 1784, the sword represents military power. Royal Staff Darn Phra Korn, Thar Fracker Symbol of Justice Royal Fan and Flywhisk Wallawijani, Wallwichni Royal Fan made of gold and the Royal Flywhisk made from the tail of a white elephant. Royal Slippers Chalong Phra Bada, Klekseng for Bath Official Footwear made of gold The Thai Royal Utensils Phra Katia Rajapropok, Phra Kati Rechufok are also for the personal use of the monarch, comprising The Beetle Nut Set the water urn The libation vessel The receptacle, these unique objects are always placed on either side of the king's throne or his seat during royal ceremonies. Other symbols of kingship Royal white elephant usually one to represent each reign, the current one resides at Dusit Zoo, the king also has ten others. Royal Garuda Emblem of the King and of Thailand Royal Standard of Thailand Official Standard of the King Royal Flags Personal Flags of the King and Royal Family Sansone Phra Barami, the Royal Anthem Traditional Band of the Royal Family of Thailand – Marching Band using traditional Thai musical instruments, they usually accompany the Royal Family and perform at ceremonies where a member of the Royal Family presides. Topic. Royal ceremonies Topic. The and other members of his family carry out many royal ceremonies per year, some dating from the 13th century. Royal coronation ceremony Royal barge procession Royal plowing ceremony The changing of the robes of the Emerald Buddha Trooping the colors and armed forces pledge of loyalty Military Colors Consecration and Pledge Taking Ceremony Oath of Allegiance Ceremony Speech from the Throne to the National Assembly of Thailand Royal Funeral Ceremony Topic. Royal Orders and Decorations Topic. King is sovereign of several royal orders and decorations, the prerogative to appoint and remove any persons from these orders are at the king's discretion. However, sometimes recommendations are made by the cabinet of Thailand and the prime minister. There are twelve royal orders and some of these have separate classes. The most auspicious order of the Rajamitrabhorn, established on of June 1962 by King Rama IX to be bestowed upon foreign heads of state. 
The most illustrious order of the Royal House of Chakri, established in 1882 by King Rama V of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand, to commemorate the Bangkok Centennial. The ancient and auspicious Order of the Nine Gems, established in 1851 by King Rama IV of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand. The order is bestowed upon the members of the Thai royal family and distinguished high-ranking officials who have given service to the kingdom and who are Buddhist. The most illustrious order of Chula Cham Klao, established on 16 November 1873 by King Rama V of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand, to commemorate the 90th Jubilee of the Chakri dynasty, and bears his name. The Ratana Varabhorn Order of Merit, established on 1 August 1911 by King Rama VI of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand, to reward personal service to the sovereign. The Honorable Order of Rama, established on the 22nd of July 1918 BE 2461 by King Rama VI of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand, to be bestowed onto those who have rendered special military services either in peace or in wartime. The Most Exalted Order of the White Elephant, established in 1861 by King Rama IV of the Kingdom of Siam. Along with the Order of the Crown of Thailand, it is regularly awarded to government officials for each five years of service, making it Thailand's most awarded order. The Most Noble Order of the Crown of Thailand, established in 1869 by King Rama V of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand for Thais, the royal family, governmental employees, and foreign dignitaries for their outstanding services to the Kingdom of Thailand. The Most Admirable Order of the Dyarkgunabhorn, established by King Rama IX on the 22nd of July 1991 BE 2534 to be bestowed upon those who have rendered devotional services to the Kingdom of Thailand. The Vallabhabhorn Order, established on the 22nd of March 1919 BE 2461 by King Rama VI of the Kingdom of Siam now Thailand. Additional information needed the Order of Ramkiarati, established on the 26th of November 1987 BE 2530 by King Rama the Ninth of Thailand to be bestowed onto those who have rendered constant service and support to Boy Scout activities for at least five consecutive years. The Vahira Mala Order, established on the 28th of May 1911 BE 2454 by King Rama the Sixth of the Kingdom of Siam, now Thailand. Additional information needed. See also Topic Sacred King Les Majestés in Thailand List of honours of Thailand awarded to heads of state and royalty List of honours of the Thai royal family by country Topic Notes Topic References Bibliography External links Website Website of the King's 50th Anniversary Celebration the Illustrious Chakri Family The Royal Family – History and Information Website on the Thai Monarchy Bookstan and Kravichen Thai King Under Democratic System PDF in Thai. Bangkok, Department of Academic Affairs, Ministry of Education. Yut Sang Yutai A Legal Treatise on the Provisions of the Constitution Governing the King PDF in Thai. Bangkok, Winyuchen. ISBN 9789742886 Topic Notes